Hello, Podium users. Welcome back. Uh, today, I want to talk about image-based lighting with HDRI background images in SU Podium. And this is a, a new lighting option that has been added to SU Podium version 2.6, which provides an alternative to the two Podium Physical Sky simulations. So in this tutorial, I want to sort of introduce the concept of image-based lighting and explain how it works in SU Podium and how it can benefit your workflow, especially for exterior rendering. So Let's get right into it. Okay, so what is image-based lighting and how exactly does it work in SU Podium? As you can see, I've got the Barcelona Pavilion model open here. Uh, and aside from the actual structure, it's a pretty empty model, right? So I've got the building, a ground plane, and nothing else. And that's fine if we just want to get a quick image out. But the problem is there's nothing in the sky, there's nothing along the horizon, and there's nothing in the model to reflect, uh, which is a problem in this model just because there's a few reflective materials. We've got the glass, the water, um, and it would help for this building to have some context. So in version 2.5, we had a couple options for the sky. Uh, most likely what we would do is come into Podium Browser in the Environment tab, Clouds, and either add one of these skies or add one of these cloud domes. And that works. Uh, that way we get, we get something in the background of the image and we get some realistic reflections on our model. But it's not always predictable and it's a limited selection of skies. The other option is to come into the menu here, check transparent, and render to PNG so that we can composite a background in after the render is finished. The problem with this is that when you composite a background in post, you don't have reflections on your model, and it's difficult to get the tone mapping of the render to match the tone mapping of the background. Not to mention the sun and shadow angle, uh, which is even more of a challenge to get to match. And so that's where HDR-based lighting comes in. Okay, so to activate image-based lighting in Podium, we come up to the gear icon, and you'll see there's a new HDR tab, but it's grayed out unless HDR lighting is actually turned on. So under the Environment tab, I come down to the Backgrounds dropdown, and instead of choosing one of the two physical skies or default, we select HDR at the bottom. Now, it's important to note that when HDR is selected, this becomes both the background and the light source. So that means... The date and time that we set in SketchUp, uh, the sun and shadow angle are actually completely overridden by the HDR background image, right? So all the lighting information is contained within the HDR itself. And I know this is very different from the way we're used to working in Podium, where the sun and shadow angle is actually extremely important to the overall look and feel of the render. Um, but this is just a different approach to lighting, and it comes with, it comes with its own set of advantages. But if you do need the precision and you need to be able to place the shadows in your scene um, to an exact degree, you would want to continue using the Podium Physical Sky simulations because HDR doesn't really give you that freedom. You have the ability to rotate the background image so you can, you can play with the shadow angle to some degree, but you can't manipulate the height of the sun because the sun is embedded within the image itself. Okay, let's flip back to SketchUp and I'll just show a quick example of how this works in Podium. Okay, back in SketchUp, we've got HDR selected in the background dropdown and we're gonna choose our background from the HDR tab. So by default, Podium installs with five sky options and you can preview them right here in the preview window. So if I switch from afternoon one to sunset, for example, we're gonna see a different image and then I can change the rotation of the image. Now, if I move my camera around in SketchUp, you'll see that that preview image is linked to the SketchUp camera position. So what I'm seeing in the box is exactly what I'm gonna see in the render. And then once I've set my camera view, so say I'm rendering from this camera position here, then I can change the rotation to determine exactly which portion of this image I wanna see behind my render. And as far as sun and shadow angles go, we need to think about where the sun is in this image. So right now, the sun is gonna be directly behind this building, but if I, want it, uh, if I want it coming from behind the camera, I would rotate this all the way to about 180 degrees. And now the, cam now the sunlight is coming from behind. 
but let's put this right about here and then tweak the exposure a little bit. I can, you know, decide how bright I want this sky to be. We'll just leave it right about here. Click save. Come to exterior default looks good. Uh, we'll just do a viewport render and I'm going to quickly render that. All right, so that finished in about a minute and a half. And if I click show, we've got this beautiful dramatic sunset type image. And as you can see, we're getting reflections from the sky on the water. We're getting all these orange and yellow tones coming in through the, the entire render, right? Because the background image is producing all of the light in the scene. If I switch to the afternoon background, for example, um, we'll get a completely different render. So I'll do that right now. Uh, let's try afternoon one. Just change the rotation. Let's put the let's put the sun behind the camera this time. Maybe bump the exposure up to about. Yeah, that's good. Click save and I'm just going to clean up and render again. All right, so simply by choosing a different background, we get a completely different image. Notice how um, the overall lighting quality has changed. We're getting a different pattern of reflections on the water here. Uh, simply by going into that list and picking a different background image, we're getting a completely different render. So you start to see how this becomes extremely beneficial for look development um, and trying out different, different lighting scenarios on your model. And the nice thing is you're not actually limited to just these five skies. You can actually add as many as you want to this list. Uh, because HDR is, has been so widely adopted as a lighting format, there's tons of places to get these. And I'm going to cover that in just a second. But I want to talk a little bit more about preset selection. Okay, so here's the full-size version of that render. And remember, this was done with the exterior default preset. It looks pretty good, but if I zoom in here, you can see this is a pretty noisy image. And that is one of the drawbacks of rendering with an HDR background is that the image tends to get a little bit noisy. So as far as preset selection goes, instead of rendering with the exterior default preset, we recommend using the exterior fine for these exterior scenes. And as you can see, when I switched off that top layer, this is the fine render, a lot of that noise really tends to go away. So there's something about the additional sampling in the anti-aliasing part of the process and the fine presets that just helps resolve the noise. And as you can see, we get a much clearer final render. So if you don't like a lot of noise, uh, use the exterior fine. It does take a little bit longer, but obviously if, if you want a clean final render, it can be worth it. So I want to go ahead and move on to how we can add additional HDR backgrounds to the Podium interface. So there are two ways to add additional HDR background selections to Podium. The first and easiest way is from Podium Browser. So we have about 40 backgrounds available from HDRISkies.com. They're high resolution, uh, high dynamic range HDR backgrounds. And if I flip over to Podium Browser, they're right here in this HDR category. And all you have to do is browse through the category. There's only five in here right now, by, but by the time version 2.6 launches, we're going to have about 40. And if I just click download, it goes directly into the Podium interface. OK, and the second way is from external sources. So any HDR image that you find from any external source can be added to the Podium interface simply by saving it into the appropriate folder on your hard drive. And that's the folder path that you see on screen right now. And I'm just going to demonstrate this right now uh, with an example from HDRI Haven, which is probably the best source of free HDR backgrounds that I've come across. Okay, so I flip back over to SketchUp. You can see in my Podium Options menu under the HDR tab, I've only got those five original skies installed. And so to add one from HDRI Haven, I'm going to flip over to my browser and we'll search for something we like. So HDRI Haven has dozens, maybe even hundreds of free HDRI images. So I click here on the HDRI tab. I'm just going to go into Skies. And I've used this one before, so I know that I like it. 
scroll down and choose the resolution that we want. Uh, larger is usually better for these. So I'm gonna check the 16K and now we're gonna choose where we wanna save it. So I click save file, okay. Uh, and on Windows, it's in the program data folder. On Mac, this will be a little bit different, uh, but you can look that path up on your own. So program data, scroll down to SketchUp, SketchUp 2018, plugins, and then it's right here in Podium HDR. And what I like to do so that this is easy, easily accessible in the future is just right click and say pin to quick access. And so now that Podium HDR folder is right here in the side column and I can get to it easily if I want to. So I'm gonna select this folder and I just like to give them a slightly more descriptive name so maybe evening clear .hdr. click save. Um, and they're pretty large files, so it's gonna take a second. I'm gonna let it download and then meet you on the other side. Okay, so that download finished. Flip back over to SketchUp. And we do need to close the options dialog before it'll show up in the dropdown. Reopen. Under the HDR tab, we now have evening clear. It takes a second to load because it's it's about 300 megabytes, these 16K ones. But there it is. And now, as you can see, I can rotate around, set my view. I think maybe the default exposure is set a little bit too high for this image because it's meant to be more of an evening type HDR. Um, but you get the idea. And that is how you add an HDR background to Podium from an external source.